Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. I am doing another look using the iconic Mercury Retrograde palette by Huda Beauty. I cannot wait for you guys to see the tutorial on this look. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me any comments that you have. And if you're new here, then please subscribe to my channel. And if you're not new and not subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel as that helps me grow my YouTube channel. Now let's get started. I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyelid. And the first color I'm grabbing is Moment. I'm tapping and adding this all over my lid until my brow bone, setting my concealer with this shade. For my next step, I'm grabbing the color of balance on this MAC Soft Blending Brush 224. I'm adding this only to my crease and that is going to be my transition shade. I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motion. I'm adding this color to the outer corner of my eye too. I'm depositing the color and blending the edges. Next, I'm going to deepen the crease and outer edge a bit more. I'm taking this color Hot Mess on a dense blending brush by MAC in 224. I'm depositing this color to my outer corner of my eye and onto my crease again in windshield wiper motion, just going back and forth. Then without any color on the soft blending brush, I'm blending out the edges. Just going back and forth and very gently without over blending it. Before taking my next color, I'm, I'm cleaning my brush on a dry towel to remove any excess eyeshadow. Next, we are going to darken this look a bit more. I'm taking this color Vertex on the MAC 224 brush. This is the same dense brush. I'm adding this color to the outer corner of my eye and slightly start blending this color into my crease with the tip of my brush. Use very, very less pressure when adding this color as darker, darker colors are difficult to blend. I'm just doing circles and back and forth in the windshield motion on the crease. To make it look more pigmented, I added a couple of layers. I always work in layers with dark shades. Sheets. Next, I'm going back with my soft blending brush and blending out the edges so everything looks nice and seamless. With my ring finger, I'm grabbing the color Mercury and adding it to the center of my eyelid. Just tap, tap, tap and blend it into the darker shade at the outer corner by tapping it and take it all the way up to the crease. I'm going back with the color Vertex on the MAC Dense Blending Brush and deepening up the outer corner once again. Then I'm taking the shade Cosmic and adding it to the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm cleaning any fallout using the Bioderma Sensible Micellar Water. Next, I'm adding the Huda Beauty Mattifying Primer all over my face. Just spread, don't over massage it. For foundation, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Foundation in the shade Macchiato. I'm using a wet beauty blender to apply this all over my face and neck. Always remember to wet the sponge and completely squeeze the water out before using it. Next, adding concealer under eye in 18 and granola. Using the brush to spread and the sponge to blend. I am even highlighting the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my upper lip, my chin and under the cheekbone and then I'm using the beauty blender to blend it out. Next, I am going to set everything with Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Banana Bread. I'm using a small brush first to set all the areas where I use the concealer like under eye, the bridge of my nose, the forehead, the cupid bow, the chin, under cheekbone and the laugh lines. Then I'm using a large brush to set the other areas, my whole face and my neck. Try and add this in downward motion as we all have facial hair. Next, I'm contouring my cheekbone and jawline. I love the dimension contouring ads before and after. Next comes my favorite highlight by Huda Beauty. I'm first adding the cream highlighting. Just cream looks beautiful, but for that extra glow, I'm adding this powder highlight on top of the cream highlight. Then I'm adding the same highlight on the bridge of my nose, on the cupid bow and the chin. Then I'm adding blush. I'm adding blush right above the contouring and blending it into the contouring. This one is by MAC in the color Pinch Me. Next, I'm contouring my nose. I'm adding the same bronzer on both the sides, right next to the highlight. Not on top of it, but right next to it on both the sides. To complete the eye look, I'm taking this shade Vortex on a pencil brush and adding it to my lower lash line right from the inner corner till the tear duct. Then I'm taking the color Hot Mess and blending the edges of the color Vortex. 
Then I'm further blending the edges with the color of balance. Make sure the top corner and the bottom outer corner meet. Then I'm taking the color super moon and adding it to the inner tear duct and on my brow bone right under the brows. This makes the look look complete. Then I'm adding the Huda Beauty Eyeliner on my waterline, just going back and forth. I'm adding this to the top waterline too. Just hold the lashes when I'm doing that. I love how it adds so much dimension to the eyes and makes the eyes look bigger. Then I'm adding the Hourglass Mascara in Caution. I'm coating the top lashes and the bottom lashes. I like this wand as it's narrow in the front so makes it easy to coat the lashes in the inner corner. Next I'm adding the Huda Beauty Lashes in Jade. Then I'm lining my lips with MAC Lip Liner in Sore. I'm even filling in the lips. This makes sure that your lipstick stays longer on your lips. For lipsticks, I'm going in with Huda Beauty's Demi Matte in the shade Game Changer. And that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you recreate this look. I have created a few more looks using this palette. I'll add the links in the comments below. Let me know which look is your favorite and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you so much for for watching and I hope to see you back soon.